Hello and welcome to the second video in the IBM SPSS series. In this video, I will show you how to create variables in order to prepare your data set in IBM SPSS. So we're going to go to an empty data set and as we saw in the first video, we have two views over here, variable view and data view. So the first thing you want to do is define your variables in the variable view sheet. So let's explore some of these here and what do we have to do here. The first thing is the name, which should be a unique name, as we said in the other video. It does not contain special character, does not contain any name that SPSS uses, such as and, or, so on. It doesn't have space and it doesn't exceed 64 characters. So let's start by typing, for example, IT. Second option is the type of this variable. So if you click on the three dots over here, it brings up the variable type, which could be numeric, comma, dot, scientific notation, date, dollar, custom currency, string, and so on. So for this, for example, it's student ID. I'm going to keep it numeric. The width, let's say, by default, it's 8, unless you change it in the option, as we saw in the first video. So for this, I'm going to choose, let's say, 10. And of course, no decimal points, because it's just a student ID. The next option would be label. And this is where you can specify a longer variable, sorry, longer name. And you can have space here because this is just the label that will be displayed in your data view and it has nothing to do with the variable name that SPSS uses for calculation and analysis. The next tab is the values. We're going to discuss this in the next variable that we create. So for now, we're going to leave it empty because we don't have any values. And the next one is also missing, which is some times you might assign specific values for missing values in your data set. And uh, this is not really essential because IBM will recognize this space empty cell as a missing value and it will tell you if you have missing values in your data set. For example, some customers might not have, let's say, address or telephone number, so you can leave it missing. This is for displaying the columns. Also, by default, it's eight. You can change that. How you want it to be aligned right left or center and this is very important the measure which you need to choose between scale nominal and ordinal so we have nominal which is the lowest no order ordinal it's ordered and the scale which is interval and ratio level and statistics so for this i'm just going to choose uh, nominal because there is no uh, specific order for the ID, just gonna list them. And the last one is the role, which is no need to make any changes here. Just default by default, leave it as input. We don't need to worry about it. So that's our first variable that we created. Now we're gonna go and create the other variables in my data set. Okay, so now we're going to look and let's say create a gender, which I'm going to use it as numeric. Can put with one. You're going to get an error here because the two decimal places, but don't worry, we're going to change that to zero and go back and make this one. This is the same as the name. And this is where we're going to create the values. So for the gender, I don't want to enter male or female. I can just simply come over here, say value one is for male. Click on add. Value two is a female. Click on add. So now instead of typing male and female, I can just enter when I enter the data as 1 and 2. 
Same idea, normal same value, columns, let's keep it right. And the measurement here would be nominal because there's no specific order. I'm going to enter age, for example, numeric. Here, if it's in years, you might want to just do it as size 3, no decimals, label age, no specific values because the user has to enter them. And the most important part, the measure should be scale. Let's enter one more variable that we have to use some values for it, for example. And for that, I will use education. Also, I'm going to use it in numeric. And one for it. Here I'm going to use the education. Let's enter some values. So one, for example, would be high school. Two, diploma. Three, let's say bachelor. Four, masters. And five, PhD. And click OK. And of course, here we have to use the scale, and this time we're going to choose ordinal because education or the highest degree achieved is basically ordinal simply because you cannot change the order of this degrees. So now we go to data view, and here we have, and you can see that it shows you the variable name, the, uh, sorry, the labels. And it shows you this, the measurement scale. So this three circle means nominal, ordinal, bars, and this is a scale of it. So now we can enter values. So here I can choose one for male, let's say 29, and the education level is three, and continue entering these values. Now, another thing in entering the data values, you can either import them from another file. You can simply copy, highlight, let's say if you have it in Excel, you can just highlight them in Excel, copy, and come in here and paste them, and it will populate all these values over here. So this way you don't have to enter these all of these values if you already have them in a certain file or a certain application with different format. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel and look for other videos on how we do statistical analysis using SPSS.